That white dwarf is raining cement, bro. Party dance time. And action. Hit the button, baby. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. The solar system possesses an additional ninth planet. To what? Where? Why, uh, what? Come on, man, out with it. We haven't got all day to waste. There's a real planet out there still to be found. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. Okay, cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> Start see pictures, ain't you? Every day we we have, of course, a little bit extra of concerning news. There's something out there. One doomsday rumor has a planet, a rogue planet named Nibiru or Planet X, coming into the solar system and crashing into Earth. This is silly. If there were such an object, anybody could see it. It would be one of the brightest things in the sky. Hi, I'm Jim Green, director of planetary science at NASA. If Planet X is out there. We'll find it together. Hey, guess what? Planet Nine could spell doom for the solar system. Now, put your angry stick back in your pants, bucko, before it gets knocked in the dirt and eaten by a passing raccoon who's trying to hump a tumbleweed. This is serious business. This ain't no butt-wiping online rag. This is physics.org, officially sanctioned both Science Daily and physics.org covered this story, and I'm just following my beat, man. And today, the drummer is beating out a rhythm of doom. Did I mention Planet Nine could spell doom for the solar system? This article popped August 30th, 2016. The solar system could be thrown into disaster when the sun dies. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. If the mysterious Planet Nine exists. Hold on a second. The solar system could be thrown into disaster when the sun dies if the mysterious Planet Nine exists, according to research from the University of Warwick. What does that sentence even mean, man? Okay, the universe could get thrown into disaster when the sun dies. I totally agree. But then it says, if the mysterious Planet Nine exists. Are you implying the Planet Nine could kill the sun? It's a serious accusation, bub. And you're making it sound like the solar system would be just fine if the sun died. Oh yeah, I forgot your physics.org a public science organization. You probably got one paragraph that says solar activity is low. Dr. Dimitri Veras in the Department of Physics has discovered that the presence of Planet Nine, the hypothetical planet which may exist in the outer solar system, could cause the elimination of at least one of the giant planets after the sun dies, hurling them out into interstellar space through a sort of pinball effect. Okay. So what you're telling me here, buddy, is that after the sun dies, the other planets could have trouble if Planet Nine is real. Is Warwick like one of those online universities, perhaps? You see, when the sun starts to die in around 7 billion years, and that's how smart science is, it can look into the future and see exactly when the sun is going to die. Because it's just like a candle that is never pressed upon by outside exterior forces or variables. When the sun starts to die in around 7 billion years, it will blow away half of its own mass and inflate itself, swallowing the earth before fading into an ember known as a white dwarf. This mass ejection will push Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune out to what was assumed a safe distance. Hey buddy, what type of orbit do you think the planets are going to be in 7, 5 billion years from now? I bet it's going to look different. This whole article seems extremely silly. Maybe it's a signal, a code, talking about how science isn't ever allowed to make the sun sound doomy. Fake ass. Never found planet. I don't know. It would blow away half its own mass and inflate itself, swallowing the earth before fading into an ember known as a white dwarf. Oh, I read that. However, Dr. Varus has discovered that the existence of Planet Nine could rewrite this happy ending. I'm so confused. What is this, a dark matter scientist? Like the happy ending is the sun dies and then all the planets get to hang out without the sun. That's some fucked up shiz science, bro. However, Dr. Barris has discovered that the existence of Planet Nine could rewrite this happy ending. He found that Planet Nine might not be pushed out in the same way and in fact might instead be thrust inward to a death dance with the solar system's four known giant planets, most notably Uranus and Neptune. The most likely result is ejection from the solar system forever. 
Oh my god, sounds like the greatest reality competition show of all time. Can't they just learn to get along and find harmony and balance within the Roche limit? We are all magical, celestial, divine creatures. Party people. Party people. So let's start to act like it. And this article is stupid. The further away and the more massive the planet is, the higher the chance the solar system will experience a violent future. The discovery can shed light on planetary architectures in different solar systems. Almost half of existing white dwarfs contain rock, a potential signature of the debris generated from a similarly calamitous fate in other systems with distant planet nines of their own. What the hell? White dwarfs are made of rock? You're saying, so yeah, the sun turns into earth and the process starts again all over. Maybe plants can be suns and suns can be brown dwarfs and, and then have pink dwarfs and green dwarfs and purple dwarfs, silver dwarfs, gold dwarfs, and then come the giants. Oh, they're already there, but they were blue. And this story blue. Now remember people, seven billion years from now, the existence of a distant massive planet could fundamentally change the fate of the solar system. This is ridiculous. It's like, hey dude, you're a scientist, right? Yes, I am. Can you tell me some cool stuff that is happening in our solar system now? It's like, no, I can't. But I can tell you exactly what's gonna happen seven billion years from now. It's like, okay. Um. In effect, the future death of our sun could explain the evolution of other planetary systems. Uranus and Neptune in particular, may no longer be safe from the death throes of the sun. The fate of the solar system would depend on the mass and orbital properties of Planet Nine, if it exists. <sighs> the future of the sun may be foreshadowed by white dwarfs that are polluted by rocky debris. Planet Nine could act as a catalyst for the pollution. All right, guys, a white dwarf is going to rain cement. That white dwarf is raining cement, bro. The sun's future identity as a white dwarf, yeah, like scientists don't know shit, man. I guarantee you, what the sun turns into next will be nothing like science's concept of a white dwarf. It's more of a phoenix, bro. I hate to break it to you. The sun is both science and magic, dickweed. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. And have a great weekend. God bless everyone. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. And dude, Mr. Varus, if, if you happen to watch this video, I'm sorry I, I was kind of a jerk, but seriously, man. Um... Step up your game. Okay, thanks. This article has now been ejected. You get the hook, article. You suck. Ladies and gentlemen, this Planet X story is crazier than I am.